Hi! This screencast will show you how to install and use the latest tech preview of Qt 460, codename Garden. Before starting, we need a working S60 development environment consisting of Carbide C++, Active Perl, an S60 platform SDK above version 3 feature pack 1, and the Nokia PC suite. Now we want to get the Qt 460 package. Let's visit the Qt 460 pre-release website and download the zip archive on the top of the page. On the same drive where we installed the S60 platform SDK, we prepare an empty directory such as C Qt 450 Garden and extract the contents of the downloaded zip archive into the Qt directory. In the Windows System Properties, we add the bin subdirectory of our Qt directory to the path environment variable. From the install file that came with the Qt S60 package and lies in the Qt directory, we copy the configure call into the clipboard. We launch a new command line window, change into the Qt directory, paste the configure call into the command line and execute it. We are now configuring Qt to be cross-compiled for Symbian. After a few minutes, we can build Qt by simply typing make debug win scw. Now that Qt for the emulator is ready, we launch Carbide C++. There we open the Preferences dialog and in the Qt tab we add our Qt S60 directory. This has to be done only once. It's time to create our first Qt GUI application for S60. So we create a new Qt project based on a Qt dialog and define the project name, select our S60 platform and finish. We open the form that was generated by the wizard and add a few widgets. Which we modify in the property editor and then lay out. Let's finally run the application in the emulator. That's nice so far, isn't it? But what about an actual hardware build? We first need some preparations. With the Qt package we also got the Qt binaries for hardware. There are two different versions of which we choose the one that fits to our installed S60 platform SDK. We extract the libraries to the SDK root directory. And we also install the Qt runtime package on the phone. In the command line we change to the directory where we created our first application a moment ago. There we build the application with the GCCE by simply typing make debug GCCE. After the build we package and install our Hello World application on the phone by typing create package -i and package file. Dash i means also install. Let's install the package on the phone and enjoy it. Thank you for watching and have fun developing cute applications for a 60.